Tom Nook. More like Tom Crook. <laughs>Welcome back to my incredibly sick YouTube channel. Someone called me the musical PewDiePie the other day, and um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take it. I'll accept that title. I think he has um, maybe like a few more subscribers than me, but um, not like a ton. So I think it's a pretty fitting name. I impulsively shaved off all of my facial hair the other day, uh, which I haven't done since I had a job interview in 2015. I don't personally, I feel like I look like a ball sack right now so I'm just kind of patiently waiting for it to grow back but uh, in the meantime I recorded some samples over the weekend for another fun production challenge over the weekend I got my cat to produce some vocals uh, over the microphone for us to use in a, uh, a banger he's pretty shy so it kind of took a while for him to kind of pony up and do it but in the end I think we got some good stuff all right like two more, come on. <laughs> right. I recorded the samples over the weekend and um, I would have filmed this earlier, but I've just been like super busy with other projects right now. Let's uh, check out the samples that I got. Here's what we got. They're very quiet and they're very kind of dull but it literally was the best I could get my cat to do because he's not much of a meower. He, he really didn't want to say anything, but this is what I got. That's, that's about it. So I don't really know how we're gonna do it yet, but we are somehow going to take these and just make an absolute slapper. I think the first thing I need to do is turn these up because they're so quiet I can barely even hear them. Kind of hear that white noise we're gonna have to cut out. So out of all these, this is kind of the one that stands out to me. It's kind of like a little tire squeak. This one has potential as well. I think I'm gonna just take that first one. <laughs> Let's start with something simple. Get a little reverb. I'm gonna have that delay come in on the second half of the intro, so I'm just gonna turn that down and then uh, pop it back up right here. All right, there we go. So I'm thinking once it repeats right here, we can add like some, some maybe some toms or some build up drums or something with like a riser. I'm just gonna use a loop because I really don't feel like making an entire build up out of drums for this song with my fucking cat. And I am gonna just absolutely pop off here and add another OTT. Doesn't have to be 100%. Cut a little more out of the bottom here. Another uh, cool thing that we maybe do is just play with this filter here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to mess around here and see what happens. I think just that beginning part is kind of cool. It kind of like sounds like someone's puking. For this build, I think it would also be cool to, instead of like a sub drop, reverse it and then have the sub kind of come up as the build. Really easy cashmere sample here, where it's just a, a sub dropping. So I'm just gonna reverse it. We want it to kind of suck in, or not suck in, but you know, slowly come in. That's pretty warm and toasty. I kind of like that. I have uh, this little chain of effects right here, and it's basically, I'll, I'll run through it and explain it, but it's basically gonna turn this into this. And I'll run through it here real quick. Basically, um, we have an OTT right off the bat because the sample is so tiny. Little EQ cutting out some bottom end. Another OTT for um, added juice and sauce and a little bit of moisture. And then um, some delay going on here and effector. The frequency shifter is what's giving that pitch change.
what I'm gonna do right now is uh, render this to audio. Basically what I have here is um, the original sample back here and I put a little chorus on here. That's kind of what's giving it the vibrato. Um, I was having trouble seeing, so if we take our resample and put it over this. It's kind of starting to sound beefier now. Before we even add any drums or anything, let's put in our sub bass. We're just gonna mimic the pattern that we have going here. And the, the D or D sharp range. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit and I'm gonna do one more EQ. I really like this kick from uh, Tizoki's, Tizoki, Tizoki, Tizoki's sample pack. Uh, I'll cut this snare drum out a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of playing with the samples now, cutting them up and seeing if maybe we can make this a little more impactful. Yeah, that's a bit of silence there is gonna create some, uh, some, some chunk. We also have the original cat sample layered over the top of this. All right, so we got like the most basic boring dubstep loop here. Something needs to happen to make this more exciting. I'm trying to think of what. We haven't really played with any of the other samples really. See if we can do like kind of a rainbow effect here. The automation basically, if we go up and then down. That's my cat. So let's see if that kind of fits in with the rest of the drop. Okay, so I put that sample in the beginning part so that it's like. So I think we still need more girth. So all I did was just uh, take what we just rendered and pitch it up five semitones. Maybe even six. And now we can play with this sample as well by doing just kind of the same thing that we've been doing, kind of just repeating the process. I just pitched it up also, just to give it some variation from the drop. <laughs> you might notice it's a lot darker now. My camera died, so um, I stopped and waited for it to charge. And then while that was happening, um, I was waiting for an Amazon package. So I stared out the window for like an hour. Finally, my package showed up. It was something really important. Um, and then I had uh, some other stuff I was working on that's really important. Anyways, I'm back now. Um, and I also, I did a, a little bit of work on the song while the camera was charging. So I'll go over that right now. Basically, um, I took out the drums on the first part because I guess if we're gonna make like a rhythm song, then we might as well not use drums. The arrangement that I put right here goes like this. And this is the same sample that we've been using. Um, I, I resampled it again, and then now we're down an octave. This is the sound that it makes. And then this part right here, we kind of did a little bit of playing with the arrangement here. It's all the same stuff that we've been working on. Uh, this part goes like this. It's the same samples. Um, this one is pitched up, so it kind of creates that little like squeaking sound. I also made a vocal sample while I was waiting. I'm a stupid cat. We'll deal with that later. I want this part to reverb in. So then when it goes into this next part that's all dry, it kind of has more impact. Let's copy this section over right here. And then right here to finish it off, we'll do this part.
Right now, let's play with this vocal sample that I made. I'm a stupid cat. I'm a stupid cat. I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid cat. I'm a stupid cat. I'm a stupid cat. I'm a stupid. Yeah. Let's put the vocal right here. I feel like cat should repeat right there. I'm a stupid cat. Cat. So that is what it is. I don't know. It's not a great song, but we did make it entirely out of little tiny burps from my cat. So it's something. It's something that I did today. This part here kind of reminds me of Dogfight by Virtual Riot. Kind of ironic that I made a, a dog barking sound out of a cat meowing. <laughs> Sounds like a burp. <laughs> um, would I necessarily play this live? Absolutely. This is the best song I've ever made in my whole life. I'm going to kind of just run through this really quick. Eventually I'll do a video on the boring part but for the most part, this is supposed to just be entertaining. I'm gonna run through this really quick, turn the camera off, do some changes, and then we'll listen to the full thing. All right, you ready? Are you ready to hear what I made out of you? All right, this is your song, dude. This is our first official collab. All right, here we go. tweet all right all right sorry why weren't you talking like that earlier that was a good meow i could have made something way sicker with that all right that's gonna do it i've never really been one to um say this but please like this video please and for the love of god please subscribe this is like day 13 of quarantine for me so i've only slightly lost my mind which is comforting if you did enjoy this video send it to your friends let me know if you learned something let me know if you didn't and um stay safe stay indoors peace <laughs> <laughs>